All right, guys, this is a pleasure to see here. Uh, I'm gonna explain to you a little bit about this car. This is a 53. Uh, this is an oval, not a split window. They had mid-year change. Uh, and this car sat in the showroom in Canada. In fact, he bought it and half the car was faded because of the, it, the fact that it was sitting in the showroom for so long in the dealership and it was in like Victoria, Canada. So, some really cool things about it is, it still says, if you see here, like the delivery to Canada. Let me see if I can get the lighting just right so you can see that. How's that? You can see the, the delivery plate, but also the writing. And they wrote K-A-N-A-D-A, -A -A, I think that's what it says, right? So the Germans back then didn't really know what Canada was, probably. But uh, this is the way it is. These are all 100% original accessories. Um, the lights, you know, these are original German ones. So this guy put all the best accessories on it. It even still, if you see the blanked out plate behind there for the horn, they had a blank behind it that was normally on the cars. These are things that I know because I've seen it over the years. Original tool set. And when they put the tool set there, they put the belt behind here. So on the premium model accessories. So that's kind of unique. These are, everything here is original. This is the original tools there, original dipstick there. This is the, uh, all the original stuff for the uh, front. It's never, it's never been replaced. It's still original because it sat in a showroom. These are original accessories here. And this is really neat. Look at, I mean, these are the Robri originals. You see they're kind of squared off the edge of them. I always thought they were just rounded. And then these ones here, and they just look so so nice on there. Now these are gold colored. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen another set of these, and that is original. The gold colored VW. And then these here, I've don't think I've ever seen one of these and what they were designed to do and these were made by what are they I can read that let's get you guys up nice and close so you can see I, I've only seen this car one other time and it was about six years ago he doesn't have it out very often if you look there it's a semen I think I don't know and it brought the air up to go further up the windshield so the radio push button Look at that for all the preset stations for your AM. That is just so cool. The owner's a really nice guy. His name's Bob. Seen him around. I talked to him before about this car, and, and then I got an opportunity to see it here, so I wanted to share it with you guys. If you look at the uh, push button radio, that's neat. And the AM, FM, Blah Punk. That's the German one. So. Uh, shift locker shifter lock original and if you look here the e-brake I don't know if that's an add-on maybe it was maybe they just came like that I don't know if you look here that's the heater knob back in the back on the 51 to, or you know the early ones the up to like I don't know what when they changed that but the early ovals had like the split window where the heater is that's where mine is on mine my 54 so the original seat upholstery is still here this is original this is not reproduction it's 100 percent original so if you see here these had a screen that went across we have the horn button with the extra horn ring i think that was an extra option to have a horn button that has that bigger ring. That is really cool. 
I'm sure if they had a repop of that, it'd be so expensive. And it wouldn't be the quality that these were back in the day. Now, if you see here, I'll show you this. You see these little things right here? This is a, what they did is they made like a little pillow with, and if you can see, that's the original cloth right there. I'm trying to focus you and you zoom it in here. Uh, that's the original cloth, and what they did is they made a little pillow that they shoved up in here to keep the sound from going into the front of the car. So in the late models, you'll see like foam where they put some sort of spray foam up in there to keep the air from going in. That's where you get your rust. And the early ones, uh, even up to like 50, up to the late or late early 60s maybe, it was somewhere they changed it and they put in these pillows right there. Made a little pillow. They just had some extra of this cloth. You can see the cloth is the same. And they just make a little pillow real quick and they would just shove it up in there as part of the upholstery so yeah this is original they had this he had this resprayed with lead base uh the same paint that they use i think it's lead based lacquer is what they used back in the old days to get everything to be the same because the one part of the car was faded i'm sitting other than that it's a hundred percent original look at that engine it's just fantastic All the original stuff. So if you wanted to see what was original on a 53 late. They had a lot of stuff that changed during that time. They still had the heart tail lights, of course. You want know, to see what those are like. Heart tail lights. Single pipe. I don't know if that's a different single pipe. Yeah, maybe it was an upgraded one. I don't know. Not sure on that. But the dealer put this on there, I think. These are super rare. To find that vent, the original one. And then he's got his... Uh, I think he added that on. I'm not sure. Maybe the dealer did. I don't know. I think he said, he th said this is the way it came. These here are really unique. That, all the chrome like that, all the way across. And then... If you look here, the rack is original. So if you want to see what the original early rack was like. Yeah. Look at they used uh they used uh fuel hose on there, it looks like to me. They had the braided hose on there. It's a good idea actually because it wouldn't scratch the paint as much. And that's the original emblem. So it's a really cool. Now, I don't know what's going on with these clocks on here. Is that... Do you know if that's an original accessory, the clocks on this? <laughs> I didn't get... Uh, I, yeah, never, I saw those there. I didn't it's just them. like, there's so much to see here. It's like you can just spend hours on this car. And then he had the, the shifter with the... With the uh, gear selector on it. There was something else. Oh, <laughs> this net thing. That's original. And you know what? I, some of these accessories you may not even know existed. This was a dealer, so he had it, and they had a coat rack. Let's see if you can see how that is. That's the coat hanger, an extra size one, so you can get a bigger coat in there. Check out the uh, ashtray with the light that feeds down onto the carpet in oh, front of the ashtray. What? The Hella Hella. Oh my goodness! This right here. Let's get up close. I have never seen this. I didn't even know they made it. This right here yes. is a light <laughs> that lights down onto the ashtray. I mean, people smoked back then. You got to think about the, the era. And a lot of people smoked back then, especially the Germans. They really did. Oh, they're chain smokers. Yeah, they were chain smokers. I think they still are. <laughs> yeah. And the uniqueness of this thing here, this is original. And look at it. It's still got the emblem on there that is no it, this is really cool look at the brake pedals brake pedal covers those are even a little different than what other ones and look it has a do you go to daytona uh or daytona florida? no i didn't go to florida okay i've been in florida but okay. i didn't go to any shows there yeah i but thought you did something for that look at this guys look at that that there i've never seen that never <laughs> high beam low beam uh yeah yeah 
What is that? Just a uh, rubber cover with oh. Volkswagen emblem on it. it I, I don't think that was uh, in very many. What's what's up under here that's different? All these switches here. You got a cigar lighter right there. See that? What's this cigar? That's a, right there, right above your. See your. What see is the, those two switches? Ones? See the round circular thing? No, I don't. Yeah. So this is a cigar lighter that goes in there. I don't want to push it up too hard because it'll start heating up. <laughs> so that is crazy. And and he has a he has the reserve switch too behind here. So there's stuff hidden behind. He's got the reserve switch behind the extended reserve switch because when you have this accessory on there, you're gonna want that so you can reach your reserve switch. Your reserve extension. Did you see that already yeah, or no? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I, I don't know what these two switches are right so here. Reserve, uh, but he's got ex he's for got accessories. Down there? He's got the, the rack in there, Look at that clock. Me, reach down past that okay. rack and turn. This is stuff you you'll just never here. see, you guys. So that's why. Since this car was here, I really wanted to film this. This is original rubber. And if you see here, yeah, they switched it in the early, the early split windows had two piece or three piece, well, two piece, I guess, rubber here. If you see that, the late, in, in late 53 or whatever, later in the year, um, this was kind of a mid year change. They had all one piece. So, yeah, there's that. And it is original. So it actually is dealer stamped rubber or factory stamped rubber which is you can see that it's got some wear on it but that's original so everything on this car is just so unique because it's just original and it's not been replaced so they had he has these two the I mean and those are original, huh? These, uh... Yeah, the Foxcrafts, these are still... Oh, wow. <laughs> original. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, the, the tough thing about all of this stuff from a person who's rebuilding one of these cars uh -huh. is that none of this fits. No. Because... Uh, no, it doesn't. The fenders uh, have been hit so many times, or have been Anything, so many yeah. times, they don't have the same line. The, no. Uh, and so... So you could if you went to get like a 53 one and you went to like a 60s one, they're going to be totally different. Even right. though the fenders use the, probably the same stamps, they, they just keep beating fixing them, them up or whatever. They're beating them down and then the stamps get worn out and then they just, that was okay. You know, that was, so, and then they would have to reform them again and they wouldn't be quite the same. So yeah, this, how that fits so tight, you know, it's just super rare. I mean, this is a really neat car. So yeah it's just like you guys this is like a really really neat it has the round one they had a round one ahead later it had square um and this one has i think what the little h emblem on the stuff for the engine and if you look here are the fuel pumps they had a couple of different fuel pumps on these early cars and this will give you an idea that the 53 had the threaded side i forget what it was the difference was Another guy was showing me that. And this one had what? That's weird that it has a lip on the pulley. Maybe that was replaced or something because they usually had a flat lip pulley on those, which is kind of interesting. But we don't really know why it has a round lip on it because usually they were flat. And then the uh, it could have been, you know, the dealer. It was serviced at the dealer. Maybe they, Maybe that year they didn't have a timing mark. You know, that might have been why they replaced it and put a later model one on. But you know, this was owned by the dealer. So everything's original. Other than, well, the only thing I see is just interesting that that isn't right. Isn't what we know is right. We don't know if it's... Everybody says that it's supposed to be a flat lip that year, but I don't know. So anyway, guys, a really neat car. We'll uh, do some faraways on it just so you can see. It's just absolutely just pristine condition and original now one of the youtubers were filming one in texas like this and it was a, like a 60 or 61 and 62 or 63 i think i can't remember what year it was 
and they didn't know what they had. This is crazy. Something like this, and especially being early oval, being this, oh, and it has the original, these are original beauty rings. Really neat. Show you guys the original tool set again. I don't know if I got it in here. Let me back it up a little bit. Get the distortion out of it. Really a neat car. Oh, and look at these mirrors here. God, they just I just keep looking around. I see more stuff. It's like it's really crazy. Just so many things on this car that are just so unique. It's definitely cool. See your comments on it, guys. And you know, the hood. That is just so cool. Oh, and the speaker in the back. He's got an extra speaker. I just saw it. Hopefully, I got that in frame. For you guys speaker there's some unique accessories on the back of the seat too <laughs> i mean it's got just crazy stuff in here there's support bars on there and stuff that didn't even know existed look at this again squared off edge on the robbery and it's located back here i always thought they were supposed to be up here as a toe kick as when you get in and out of the car but this one's located back here. Maybe, I'm not really sure why. Maybe to get in the back seat. I don't know, but they usually, uh, usually I've seen them in the middle, like right here, located right here. But for some reason, this one's back here. I think we're, other thing we're questioning on it is we saw the rubber, maybe that's been replaced because I thought they had a space at the end of the lines on this. So maybe the dealer replaced that, but that's the way he bought the car. It was already like this. Nobody knows. It's really cool. Really a neat car. Talk to you guys later in the video.